Hey guys, Yanni from Filter Grade again. Today's video is going to be a very basic Final Cut Pro tutorial. You'll find it really helpful if you are totally new to Final Cut Pro, and you'll see and learn the overall process for putting together a movie with Final Cut Pro. Alright, let's get started. And FYI, I'm using the latest version of Final Cut Pro on the 2017 version of the MacBook Pro. So, we're now in Final Cut, and we can see different sections right here. You have the sidebar to organize libraries and access photos, audios, titles, and generators. You have the browser where you can import and skim the media. You have the viewer to preview your project, the inspector, and the timeline. First, we need to open or create a library. I'm going to open my old one. A library can contain multiple events and projects in the same location, and it tracks all your media files, your editing decisions, and the associated metadata. Normally, I just leave wherever it is and focusing on my project, and I recommend you to do the same thing. So before we can start a project, we need to create an event. I have mine ready here, and you can right-click and create. and use the same method to create a new project. These are the default settings. You can change the video format, resolution, or rate to fit your needs. And now we got a project, we can import media. You can use this button right here. You can also go to File, Import, Media. Or you can just use Command and I. Here we can see the media on the computer and you can press space to preview. preview. On the right side, we have settings. There's two things I'm going to mention here. The first is file. We have two options. Either we left Final Cut copies the files to library or leaves them where they are right now. So it's basically your choice based on your project and your workflow. The second one is transcoding. Final Cut can transcode the video clips better for editing. I recommend to create optimized media because it will be faster to process and better to edit. However, since it takes space on your computer, so don't choose this if you are running out of storage space. As for the proxy media, it will compress your media into smaller size, which, in my opinion, will lead to a bad editing experience. Okay, let's import this media. In the browser, you can hit play here, or press space to preview the clips, and you can also delete it if you don't want it. Although you have many options here to put the clips in the timeline, I prefer drag and drop. You can set the start and out point in the browser and then drag the clip to the timeline as well, but for me, I like to do the trimming in the timeline. Now we have clips in the timeline, we can simply drag and drop to arrange the clips and delete the unwanted clips. After you've roughly assembled your clips in chronological order in the timeline, you begin to fine-tune the cut point between each pair of contiguous clips. So move your pointer to the beginning or the end of the clip, and the pointer will turn into this trimming symbol. And now you can click and drag to trim. And if you see the frame color becomes red, that means you reached the very beginning or the end of this video. And this line, which marks the current position, is playhead. So don't forget you can always press space to view your clips and the whole project. If you want to split a clip, 
Click the Tools pop-up menu in the top left corner of the timeline and choose Blade. Now, each time you cut a clip, it's split into two clips. You can cut one clip or multiple clips at a time. To adjust the view of the timeline, I like to use two fingers to zoom in and out on the trackpad, or you can click this button here and make the changes. Now that we've done enough with the clips, let's take a look at the audio. Final Cut Pro has many features designed to make processing and editing audio easier. For example, you can drag to adjust the volume and even make a fade-in and fade-out effect. Check it out! If you right-click the clip, you can detach the audio and do more editing with it like you can trim it or cut it. And of course, you can add more audio tracks and sound effects. The next thing I'm going to talk about is titles. You can add titles and modify the text style. First, Drag the playhead in the timeline to the point where you want to add the title. Click the Titles and Generators button in the top left corner of the Final Cut Pro window. You can browse the titles and double click to add the one you prefer. I'm going to add the basic title. Then you can edit the text, change the font, color, and many other settings you can play around with. I'm typing filter gray here and gonna make the size larger. The title is 10 seconds long by default, so you can trim it to the length that you actually need. Another quick tip for your guys here is, although the title clip is connected to the video clip, you can drag it to the middle of two video clips in the primary storyline and it will become a main clip with a black background. I found this is a really time-saving tip, and if you like to use black background like me, you're gonna like this. Before we head to the export section, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to add transitions to the clips. Click the transitions button in the top right corner of the timeline, and you can move the pointer over the transition thumbnails to see an example of what the transition looks like. For me, the cross dissolve is the one and almost the only one I use, so I'm gonna choose it. Drag the transition to the edit point, and we're done with the transitions. Final Cut provides hundreds of transitions and effects for both video and audio. You can play around with them, but don't use too much. Just keep your editing simple and clean. Well, it's the time for us to export the project. You can choose File, Share, and choose Master File. I don't know why the language changes right here for me, but I know the Master File should be the second option. You can also use Command and E to quickly share the Master File, or you can go to the Share button in the toolbar, then click Master File. Still, it is the second one in the menu. You can rename your project, and you have a bunch of settings here. In most of the conditions, you don't need to really change anything. So, we go to Next. Choose a place to save and export. And that concludes this beginner-friendly Final Cut Pro tutorial. 
More videos for advanced editing are coming up. Comment to let me know if you have any questions or what other tutorials you want to see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.